Hey guys, Kev here, and I have <clears throat> a couple of things to show you unbox. So I actually already unboxed them. I used this knife. This is the Mr. Mr. Design Phantom, and this thing is fantastic. Uh, it's really well done, guys. Contoured scales, titanium, 20 CV, teal accents on the titanium uh, studs and standoffs, wire clip, 205 bucks. Very good detent, QSP made, front flip is money, reach around, money, roll back, money, oops, thumb flick, fantastic, reverse flick, money. I mean, you can do basically all the things with this and it's super slim, hollow ground, slicey AF, <clears throat> fantastic little knife, not too big. Right? That's what I like about it. It's a good size knife. Like, here's a mini Sweeney. You can see it's bigger than that by a little bit. I would venture to guess it's somewhere around a three inch blade. Probably exactly. And uh, pretty much the perfect EDC. I don't know. I mean, look how thin that stock is, dude. Schlump. All right. So, the first thing is I already opened the packages if that's what I used. Uh, <laughs> but I haven't opened what they are. So this is actually some inlays for, that's too funny. They asked me which ones I wanted and I said, either Black Dunes or Lava Flow, you choose. And they sent Jungleware. <laughs> that's the only one I didn't want. That's hilarious. All right. And that is how things go for me. Um. <laughs> oh boy I have a tool somewhere to uh, get in here <clears throat> where is it is it in the did I put it back in the box so there's a tool so you can pop off the scales Yep, I did. So I have these green micarta scales. And I have the black G10. Now we have jungle wear. So you just kind of pop that up then take that out, push this one out the other side. Then you can take your scale and drop that in and drop that in and there you go now you have fat carbon inlays instead of micarta or g10 oh they also had nebula they had Nebula Fat Carbon, they had Black Dunes, they had Lava Flow, and they had Jungle Wear. So those are the uh, inlays they had, nice and flush, pretty close. It's a little raised back here, but I mean, you know, for swappable inlays, it's really nice. And then you can see, you still got the titanium scales and bead and everything. So this is the Axial Alpine, 100% USA made fixed blade. And uh, now it's got fat carbon inlays and you can pick up the inlays on their website, which is linked down below. I do have a discount code, lefty05, that'll uh, get you a zero five, that'll get you 5% off your order at Axial Gear. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm probably gonna pass these around, <clears throat> pass this around anyway, so. Not too worried about the uh, fat carbon not being the exact one I wanted. Because um, realistically, this is probably not going to end up sticking around here too long. Because I want other people to check it out. So, um, yeah. Very cool. So that is the Alpine fixed blade with fat carbon. Where's the sheet? I... Where's the sheath?
Did I literally... How the heck did it get over there? Interesting. All right. The next one is from Vero Engineering. How about that? And this is <clears throat> their new version of the Neuron. So left-handed Neuron. And uh, this is actually their second attempt sending it to me. The first one ended up <clears throat> getting sent to my old address. And uh, I have no idea where it is, unfortunately. So this is the version I would want, belt satin, very cool. Now the Neuron is a um, double detent knife, guys. So this does not have a lock. It has a detent as the lock. So no lock, you know what I'm saying. And um, this knife is for those of you who like maximum fidget factor. And also, they now have a version without the flipper. So it's technically a two-hand knife, I guess, even though the hole is there. Maybe it doesn't count. And uh, in Europe, I guess that makes it legal. So they can carry it. So they did a, or UK legal or something. I don't know. They got rid of the flipper. And uh, he also, if you can't tell, has lefty clip options. So this is a left-handed Neuron, which is pretty cool. Um, so I can carry this in my front left pocket. And um, yeah. Now, one thing I do like is, well, I thought I did. Um, you have this flat here. So I was thinking it would protect you from getting cut, but no, if you if you push that, you're still getting cut. Um, that's why I like choils on stuff like slip joints and double detents, because it protects you from getting cut. Um, but, you know, you probably just shouldn't uh, put your fingers on the back of the blade. So if you're going to use this to actually cut something, it's so hard not to just rest up here. I, I can't even help it. It's crazy. Um, you have to stay off the blade, basically. And if you get stuck in a cut, it can close because, unfortunately, the double detent systems, they're very easy to break the detent, right? Um, so it's not like a slip joint where you have... Uh, a slip joint, you have spring tension. So you have to... It comes back, right? You have to push through all that to get to even there and then you have a half stop to protect you so um but a lot of people uh know that and don't mind so let's talk about the let's shut up let's talk about the uh deployments so you have a reverse flick which is nice by the way this belt setting is Gorgeous. Looks like it's almost like on an angle. It's almost different than the traditional Best Tech uh, belt satin, who I assumed made this. Uh, this is number 29. Lefty. Nice. I mean, the detents are clicky for sure. Um, anyway, you have the reverse flick. Can you thumb flick it? You can thumb flick it. Then you have a back flipper, which works really well. I don't remember the Neuron being this good. I remember kind of struggling with it. Um, so that's nice. That works really well. And then you have actually a front flipper. Oop. Like that, but I keep failing it. What am I doing? Was I going, am I going too hard? And it, yeah, it's like popping. I'll try it right handed. It kind of double taps. You're just hitting it too hard, I think. And maybe with the flipper, you're kind of riding it to the detent. So I think you're kind of helping stop it once it gets to the detent or something. I don't know, but flicking it, I mean, I can flick the crap out of it and it's not bouncing back. So there's something with the front flipper. I think, oh, it's, it must be the motion. It's gotta be the motion. You're not you're not finishing it. You know what I mean? Like you gotta bring it all the way back. I don't know. 
anyway, uh, it's comfortable. It's comfortable in the hand. Um, it's got a little thickness to it, but it's cool. And you have a flat grind. A hollow would be sick on this, by the way. But it's essentially a Axon-ish uh, knife with a double detent system. I mean, I really enjoy the flick. The flick is where it's at right there. <laughs> and if you're left-handed, I mean, it's cool that we get a lefty option. Surprised he did that, honestly. So that's cool. Yeah. I'm guessing there's bearings in there. This is not one that I think I would want to take apart and skiff up. Uh, but feels good. Assuming you have some kind of pressure all the way through, right? You have a detent riding regardless of what you do, right? There's a detent. I'm trying to see where they are. There's one there and one. Oh, there's one on each side of the blade, interesting. So there's a hole on this side that locks it closed, and then there's a hole on that side that locks it open, or vice versa, is my guess. Or I guess both detents could be falling into, there could be two holes, or pass-through, and it could be adding a little bit of resistance having two. Hmm. Does make some sense. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the biggest double detent guy, but the more I play with this, the more I like it. Like, it's fun. I'm just afraid to cut myself. That's kind of my big deal with this, is I'm gonna do this. <laughs> gonna do that. But what do I do? I open Amazon boxes, so I just... Learn to hold it like this, drag cut through, open the box, pop it down, right? Pop it open, pop it down. Man, it's fun. Hmm. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I think it's cool. So if you guys want to pick one of these up, I actually have a link to Vero Engineering. Uh, it is an affiliate link. It does help the channel if you use that link. So, use it. Um, lefties. Here's another lefty knife, baby. Left-handed neuron. Now, I'll do it. Just because you guys really want me to, I will spine whack this. We'll see if it can pass the spine whack test, all right? Wow. That lock is strong as shit right there. Try that again. Oh, never mind. Failed. Uh, <laughs> was that funny? I don't know. But I did it anyway. Um, okay. I think I'm going to shut up. I think this is really cool. I think that's my determination. After sitting here and playing with it for eight minutes or whatever, um, I really like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. I, th I you know, I've played with them before, um, like it shows, and I, I thought it was cool. And I actually got to check out the original Neuron, and I thought it was cool, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really like it. But this is sick. I mean, I don't, you know, you gotta just go with your gut sometimes, and uh, my gut says this is cool, so. It's so the first double detent knife I'm going to go ahead and recommend to you guys. I mean, let's face it. Most of the time, we're just fidgeting with them, right? And then we open boxes. So, for those purposes and for those people, this is perfect, right? And then when you need... Uh, when you need something bigger or something more sturdy, you, you have that too, because we all carry two knives, right? We're knife nuts. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on the Neuron. Thank you to uh, Vero Engineering for getting uh, this one out to me, getting two of them 
out to me. Hopefully that other one still shows up and I'll get it back to you. But um, yeah, it's really, really cool. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Again, check that link down below and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.